Hey there, ladies and gents. It's your favorite Asian robot, hopefully your favorite Dark Tide partner. And today, I'm here to investigate the claim made by several people that uh, Warp Flurry is currently bugged, causing three Surge staff secondaries, I'm assuming, to stop doing critical hits and the last biggest chunk of damage. You're losing about 90% of your damage output after just four chained attacks, and you won't be able to stun enemies. Okay, that is the current claim being made. Uh, so... I got myself a four staff now. I'm sorry about the stats, but I managed to get one that uh, has warp flurry on it. It's only a tier one blessing, but it should suffice for the purposes of this experiment. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do now, and I don't have all or nothing or the other the other awesome blessings that you know we plan on testing. I don't have that here, but you know when I get a chance to test it, I will. Okay. Um, in terms of feats, we're just using the same standard loadout that I showed in my Psyker video. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go max out our inner tranquility. Okay, so we're going to max out the number of warp charges. Alright, we're going to do that right now. I'm going to use Kinetic Barrage to quickly hit six warp charges so I can do this live in front of y'all. Okay. Okay, great. We're at six warp charges. Now we're gonna go all the way down to zero peril. Okay, and we're gonna touch this here, uh, lovely Reaper. This is a damnation meat grinder, okay? So we're gonna fire off the charges as soon as we can. Here we go. One, two, two, six, one, six, eight, one, seventy, two, nine, two, one, eight, four, one, five, seven, two, oh, four, one, eight, eight. So it seems to still be doing critical, so I'm not sure, you know, I fired off a shot in between, maybe that's what caused it. So we're gonna let the charge go a little bit, so that we're only firing the secondaries, okay? So we're gonna redo that testing again. Okay, here we go. Firing only the secondaries. 205 is 172, 301, 153, 250. Uh, it seems to be stunning opponents just fine. All right, let's 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 do that again. This time with uh, some random mobs, so we can see where the stun's taking place. All right. Okay. Here we go. Nope, still doing criticals. Like, you're not gonna do a lot of damage against, uh, most of these, alright? Because they're all Maniac Armored, alright? The highest damage you can possibly deal is against Flak Armor targets. The rest of these are Maniacs who are unarmored, infested armor. So, I'm not sure if this is a misunderstanding of the Surge staff, but just in case it is, guys... In, in my testing here, I haven't seen any problem with Warp Flurry. If you can show me with a video that you're getting different results, I would love to see it. But I think in order to solve this misunderstanding that... And it's not just one person. It's, it's more than one person that's come to me with this. Just to resolve this potential misunderstanding, what I'm going to show you right now is in case you didn't know, okay, the third staff... Now... I did explain this in a video called um, Advanced Combat Tip. All right, you'll be able to find it on my channel. In fact, let me quickly find it for you. Okay, if you go on my YouTube channel, there's this video called uh, Dark Tide Advanced DPS Tip. Know your weapon attack breakdowns useful for any class. Uh, if you haven't watched this video, you really should because... What this video explains to you is how to check your weapon breakdowns, which I I'm thought everybody knew how to do but in case you don't all right when you go into a weapon all right that you've equipped or even if it's one that you've not equipped whatever just go here if you press the inspect key you will come to this screen right okay so this part y'all know now if you press tab to view attack breakdowns and you select the secondary attack you will see what types of armor it can hit and do damage against all right so if you guys have noticed, the Surge Staff functions best against Maniac, Unyielding, 
Flak armored and carapace armored targets, it deals the highest amount of damage to these. It does not deal much damage to unarmored targets and infested targets. Alright, this is a contrast with the primary attack, which the primary attack does poorly against carapace armored targets and unyielding targets, but okay against everything else. Okay, uh, y'all need to know this. Why? Because this is the reason why if you were to fi oh, also there's something else you need to know about the surge staff, but I'll explain that in a second. If I were to charge up right now and fire against a flak armored target, okay, he will take full damage. Bada bing bada boom. If I were to, now keep in mind, when I'm charging, I want you to look at where the sparks are. See the sparks around the Tox Flamer? If I fire at the Tox Flamer, they take the full 330, 30, um, 3 damage, alright? The sparks indicate exactly where you're firing. So only the first two targets that you hit will take full damage, alright? You saw this, uh, this guy in the back. If he's, if he's lit up by the sparks, he will take full damage. But if I were to aim at somebody else, alright? My sparks are currently around the uh, Tox Flamer and the Sniper, okay? Even if I were to say, you see, okay, if the sparks are not on this guy, he's not going to take very much damage. I think you guys saw that. You see, because he's being hit by the secondary lightning bolt. So with the Surge Staff, what a lot of people don't realize is that only two targets will take the full damage. Alright, this is more clearly seen if you go to a Horde situation here. Alright. You see the sparks are around the, f uh, the first two guys, so only they take full damage. The rest take less damage. Did you see that? Let's do this again. Two targets take full damage, the rest take less damage. Alright? The Surge Staff, although it can hit up to six targets, only does full damage against two targets. Which is why I'm not sure if this is a misunderstanding of, the s of how the Surge Staff works, or if people genuinely think Warp Flurry is broken, because in my testing, Warp Flurry is not broken, even with no Warp Battery Stacks. Okay, let's do one final test against this uh, Reaper. I'll try and charge it to half as best I can. Uh, 132, 179, 150. I'm still doing the full chunk of damage. Even this last burst is 242. So, that was more than three casts, and, and Warp Flurry is, is not broken right now. So, if anyone can post video evidence that Warp Flurry is broken right now, please... Share it with me because I was doing this all of yesterday. I used the Surge Staff in Damnation Runs. I had no problems. Now, I wasn't using Warp Flurry in that, but this this staff does have Warp Flurry. Okay, I'm, I'm proving it to you right now. This, this staff that I'm using has Warp Flurry, and you can see that right there. So, if you guys can post a video with evidence, I'll happily give you credit. Uh, much like I did with Frederick and his Flamer video. If you guys have some kind of proof to show me that Warp Flurry is currently broken, I would love to see it because uh, as far as I can tell, this seems to be a misunderstanding of how the Surge Staff actually works. And several people are have actually told me that, oh, they're not sure why sometimes it does a lot of damage, sometimes it doesn't seem to do any damage. Again, please pay attention to your attack breakdowns. You, sh you need to know what each attack can do. And it is very important to know what armor types a particular weapon is effective against. For example, the Surge Staff is effective against armored enemies, enemies that wear any kind of armor, alright? Surge Staff is effective, but it only does full damage to two targets in the chain. It doesn't do full damage to all of them, which is something that I explain on stream, so... Uh, okay, so I hope that this information helps. Um, alright, and again, if you have any, any uh, info for me, you know... Uh, please, please do a video and sh and show me the evidence because I, cause I need to see it in front of my eyeballs. All right. Thank you guys very much for this video. <laughs> I hope it helps clarify any doubts you guys have about the Surge Staff. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you could get this video to 100 likes. I'd be very happy. And, of course, I'm very thankful to my audience for supporting me. Um, before we go, I'm just going to give my thanks right now to the channel members that make videos like this possible. If you guys want to support me additionally and you, you want to see more content on my channel, in addition to the like, share, and subscribe, you can always donate, super chat on streams, send tips. All of that helps with channel running costs because uh, I, this, this is basically my full-time job, so you want to help me out. That's the best way to do it. And, uh, of course, it, it really, it really uh, means a lot. But that one's all optional because 
you know, it costs money. So if you just want to support for free, watching the videos with ads is good enough. You can also support by listening to my music on Spotify. More tracks coming soon. But yes, here's the thank you to our top fans. We have Death Dawning 982 at Plus Ultra. Uh, we've got Jerry Fast, Rogue Assassin, Old Mr. Green Buff, and Zach NFG at Prestige. Thank you guys so much. Uh, over to our Honored Robots, I thank uh, Ripley, Jammer Boy, Mighty Zeno, Underpaid Enlisted Soldier, Triple D326, Darverse, Cordova, Maze, Che D12, I'm Peep, Syed Asad, Pringle Bread, Tuan de Gwen, Miss Eve, Valorous, Coda CMF, Kami SMH, Conrad C, Nate the Great, Kurt Schussler, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, and Greasy Burger. Thank you to all of our cool and weird bots as well, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Like I said, you got any info for me, you want to show me some stuff, post the video, I'll come check it out, credit is yours, okay? See you on the next one.